I'm Dave Arrowsmith, I'm production designer on season two of The Musketeers and we're in the uh, Queen's Apartments which we created for the new series. This is a complete build inside an existing room. When I arrived for the beginning of season two, the space that we're in now was actually a wardrobe area and we decided we wanted to create this royal world on our set. So what we had to do was build a set within a room. So all the walls that you see here around us here in these columns, this is all created in the plaster workshop and the studio at Barandoff. All the walls are fake uh, in front of the existing walls. So we sit down, we design it all out and draw it all out in CAD and we give it to the plaster workshop and they sit for days and make moulds. You can see the marble behind us. The ceiling up here is all fake timber and photocopies. So it's one big painting that we divided up. But from this distance you can't tell. Also we created the Queen's bed, which is beautiful silk based on a, a design from the period. All our paintings, our prayer area. Part of the process in here as well is we wanted to create as much as we possibly could from scratch. So we had it for the whole series. So we actually built all of the candelabras that you see, the chandeliers, everything was designed and built by the metal workshop. A lot of the furniture was, was made for the show and upholstered for the show. All of the picture frames we created from scratch. Virtually everything that you see in the Royal Apartments was made for Musketeers. So this is the Queen's antechamber. One of the main things in here was that we wanted to tie it all together into the world that we had for series one. Last year was mainly about the garrison. This year has been a lot about the royal palaces and creating a map of the Louvre, which we didn't do last year. We have a scene in episode one where we have a flower girl with strawberries coming through all of the sets to eventually end up here. And what we tried to do with this set was take elements of all of the other royal palaces that we have and make this the final point and tie it all together with the design, with the colors, with the curtains, with the fabrics. Uh, and I think we've achieved it really well here. This is, a, this is a great set to work in. These paintings came from a sketch that I did. We got all five painters to start in the morning and they had a race to see who could finish painting first. There was no prize, but... <laughs> so we come out of the Queen's apartments with the antechamber in the bedroom and into the main corridor for the Queen's suite. These are all the paintings the studio boys painted from scratch. All the plaster work here, this is all fake, as you can see. And some of these things were from original designs from the period. They're made from cast iron and they're extremely heavy. Along with the plaster busts here, which are also done in the plaster shop at Barandoff. Uh, we've had quite a few of these original designs and the plinths as well were created. So one of the most enjoyable things about the process on this series of Musketeers was the skill set that we have here in Prague. The availability of talent and craftsmanship is incredible. The artists that are here uh, that make these sculptures, that do these paintings, gave us all the props and everything for the whole series, which is amazing. To be able to make things from scratch to the designs of the period, it's quite unusual because normally on television particularly, you have to hire most things in. I haven't really experienced it as good as this anywhere else in the world that I've worked.